Welcome to this week's episode of the Indie Increase, where we examine Steam store pages and provide marketing advice for developers who will hopefully submit them for future pieces. I'm, of course, Josh Blaser, and joining me from Nexus Games is my co-host, Sharky. Hello, everybody. All right. So, again, for those of you watching this record, we're going to be splitting these streams up into two distinct parts. And for this week, we are starting with Hopeless Dregs. As I said, this was a game that was submitted uh, through my email, and you'll find content links to everything in the descriptions down below. So, uh, let's start, as always, with the thumbnail. Uh, I think this is a decent thumbnail. I think it's catching. I like the fact that kind of the name uh, kind of pulls your attention towards the character. Yeah. I mean, they, and the light source coming into the tree also pulls your eye to the character. The, the pathway pulls your eyes towards the character. Every, you know, they have all these angles converging on the character and the mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. And that's really good layout and really good design. I... Um, the name really stands out over everything else. The silhouette of the character really stands out. Even though it's really, really dark, you can see the mm -hmm. character. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do think it's a, do you think it's still like a little generic? Not really. I mean it might be a tad on that side, but mm -hmm. I don't think they can really escape that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They might be able to, but you know, I it would be hard. I think that if they tried it might be an inferior thumbnail. Yeah. I do think I like the right side of it with the graveyard with the sword and the skull. The left yeah. side I think could use maybe just like something. It, it it's obviously dark over there, but it seems like it's like really doing anything for the thumbnail. Well, that's what thumbnails. You, you got to make sure that you're 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 not overwhelming the the people. You need yeah. to focus their image. So you know. I mean, I think that's probably a good thing to not have something mm -hmm. over there. But I think overall, pretty good thumbnail. So great. I give it an A. Man, I was thinking, I was thinking B B plus for me. I think you're really underrating that thumbnail. <laughs> well, I think the one thing, I think the text could be just maybe a little bit bigger, like because of how the font is. The dregs is kind of like a little hard to read, at least from where I'm looking. Yeah. But and still. The, 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 the font is a little hard to read, mm -hmm. both because of size and because of the font choice. Mm -hmm. But I think still very eye-catching very eye-catching thumbnail. And it does stand now, I think, compared when we look at some of the uh, not-so-good examples. Yeah. So, ready to go on to the trailer? <laughs> sure. Uh, there's only about how my voice sounds different on two different streams. Let's combine the voices and see what we get. <laughs> mm. Alright, are you ready for the trailer? Yeah, I already started it. Okay. Let me raise this up here. Alright, starts with a uh, quick uh, play there. I really like that font. <laughs> I think you can tell one of my issues from when we played this game last night at the 23 second mark. Wait, you're way back there at the 23 second mark? Nope, I just finished. So what did you think of that? It was underwhelming. For sure. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to do whatever El Gordo is talking about. <laughs> Half distracted. 
hopefully I sound good as I'm talking like in my normal voice. Can you guys hear me all right? And for the record people, let me know if I'm coming in too loud or too low. <laughs> I can raise myself up just a little bit. Don't raise it up. Because <laughs> I think that might be part of the problem. <laughs> so, while Shark's looking into that, I think it starts... I think it starts better than it ends as a trailer. What do you think? Yeah, I, I need to rewatch it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, go on and say whatever you're going to say while I'm watching it, rewatching it. All right. So the big thing is that there's just no, there's no real sense of like momentum or action to this trailer. The texts and kind of like those scenes are trying to elicit that, but the actual gameplay looks very, you know, just very stationary. Yeah, I think that's because of the game and not because yeah. of the trailer. <laughs> Like the... if, they, if they had the if they had real good actions and animations in the game mm -hmm. then maybe yeah and I think part of this issue again is that it's trying to emulate that darkest dungeon kind of feel to it and you can see the difference both in animation and in the trailer between those two games. And I think, as we've said before, I think this is a case where what they have is kind of undermining the trailer. Like the trailer itself is not bad, it's just that the content is kind of bringing it down. Yeah. The content is definitely really lax and, you know. And also the, the the text in between almost feels like a stock asset. Mm -hmm. Well, to a point, but it's it's like the best part of the trailer. At the same time, yeah. I don't know. I'll give that trailer a D D minus. Mm. What do you think? I was actually going to be a little bit higher than that because, again, I think the trailer itself like content wise is okay but no, it doesn't have the content of the game that's yeah. it but again we have to grade the trailer on the trailer alone well you also have to you, you in mm -hmm. this part you would have to you know i mean we're not just grading the the editing of the trailer mm -hmm. we're, we're you know grading the overall yeah. you know like, i mean um, i'm looking at it i think a C minus. I think again that structure wise it's good, it's on the short side, it's missing a call to action. But again, the trailer has to sell the game, but the game itself doesn't have enough to sell it on. You're again you're kind of one foot in the grave. Mm -hmm. So the images I think these are all original again it's no, hard to tell definitely not because that third one i know was in there for a fact i'm pretty sure the fifth one and the fourth one were too it's hard to tell because every scene is unfortunately very generic i know yeah, the I, last one was not i think all of them except for the last one was in the trailer mm-hmm Yeah, so and basically no screenshots except for one <laughs> yeah so give that a d minus yeah f plus somewhere in there mm -hmm. and i know there are more screens to this like they could use a little bit more at least like showing off maybe even a different scene from that final boss like the part where during the trailer where the guy like throws hey uh, pavel uh i think he is the 
developer, maybe. I think yeah. what we're talking about are the images being original from the trailer. They're not just being repeated. Let me see if I can... There is that. Hmm. I just noticed that there is kind of like a, a light filter on the trailer that's not in the main game. Like, if you look at the, what was it, 19, no, wait, yeah, there's a 21 second mark where the guy's, like, throwing, like, the vial of acid. I would like to see, like, a different screenshot of that. And then we have, like, kind of a final boss. <laughs> I'm not seeing a boss anywhere. Is that boss it, just another human? Uh, no, it's like a demon in the trailer that's at the uh, 31 second mark. Oh, I thought you said it was in the, in the screenshots. No, I was trying to spot if there was anything more they could use in terms of the screenshots. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go down to the About This page. Now, uh, there, there's not much about, about this page, Ooh. game page. There's no blue text, no GIFs. We have a little bit of organization at the bottom. Yeah, bullet points, and mm -hmm. that, that's about it. You know, bullet points and text, that's, that's all he's got, basically. Yeah. And again, for a game like this, you definitely want images and GIFs. Mm-hmm. You know, showing characters getting gear, showing them fighting, showing them dying, etc., etc. Although without really good animations inside of the game, there's not your your gifs are down here going to lack too. Mm -hmm. So definitely need to change that in the game to you know before you add that to the Steam page. Because. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, just showing a character slightly going forward when it attacks as a gif down here isn't going to work. Yeah. And I, again, I, the challenge of these shows is that the game itself is divorced from the store page, unfortunately, or in some cases for better or worse. So even though I played the game, I can't use that when reviewing the store page. Yeah, but you can use the, the bits of game that you yeah. see on the store page. Yeah. And I do think, like, I know the game is in early access right now. One thing that I think would help a lot is getting some animations going. Beyond mm -hmm. just a character going, like, you know, them, like, going left and right like that. Yeah. That's the equivalent of having basically nothing. Mm hmm. It's, it's the equivalent of having nothing without actually having nothing yeah rather. it's essentially the you need that visceral feel to it and again that is more on the presentation and aesthetic side and that can be very hard to nail down but it's, it's also all very very important yep. because without it your game is not going to sell yeah it's often what separates you know the eye-catching games from the games that people just kind of look at and go eh, and then they move on yeah, if they even finish your trailer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with that, uh, let's the take a look at the... Card. Yep. Uh, like a decent tags in the RPG strategy yeah. early access. Maybe roguelike, roguelike could fit here. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no contact information whatsoever. Yeah, no website, no Twitter, no nothing on that. That's a, a no-no right there. Yeah. Do we ever rate the about this game page? Oh, I don't think we did. Uh, I'd say D minus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you have the bullet points, so that's at least a. Uh, it's like that's one plus. Not an F minus. Yeah. Yeah, I think. No, not even like a banner at the top to kind of catch your eye. Yeah. So I think D minus. Yeah, I think D minus would be it for me too. So for the the title card, what do you think for that? Uh, mm. But they got the tags, but they didn't get anything else. Yeah, but contact of the tags are important for Steam. The 
contacts are important for everybody else. Yeah, that's well, not for everybody else. They're they're important for all the press and yeah. anybody who wants to contact you. That which place. is very important as an indie developer. Yeah, because you definitely want press coverage if you can get it. Yeah. So I don't know. I give that maybe a C. Uh, C. I was thinking maybe D plus C minus. I mean, you have the um, tags, maybe. which is good. You and I are definitely not agreeing on this with you. Yeah. But again, without any contact information, it's going to be very hard for people to get in touch with you. And if you can't get people to cover your game, the tags aren't really going to matter, unfortunately. And the, well, the, thing, the thing is, is I don't think anybody's going to be willing to cover the game with the animations the way they are. Yeah. So I don't think. I don't think right now he's losing out on anything on that because of the fact that the animation is in the game mm -hmm. and because of how that affects the trailer yeah. and how the screenshots are, you know, either the same or so eerily close to the ones mm -hmm. in the trailer that it, you know, might as well be the same. Yeah. So like, you know, and the, the, the tags are at least getting them to the store page. Mm hmm. But sadly, the trailer, because of the lack of animations and the the about in the the about this game page with no real good animated gifs, is really not uh, going to move them into buy. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll bump up into the C range then. Yeah, but uh, let's talk final grade. So final grade, I think this is a the thumbnail. B plus. The thumbnail is really good. Yeah, and... the thumbnail, I said the thumbnail's an A. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I think, is... In the D... D, D besides, D minus, except for the uh, the uh, title card. Yeah. And again, like, for those of you watching, trailer and thumbnail are the two Bs in terms of getting a good grade from us. So we have one really good... And one not so good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it's in the D range, I think, for me, I think too. It's D plus. D, D plus. Somewhere in there. Mm hmm. Because the problem is that so much of what's going to get somebody to keep looking at your game is going to be the aesthetics. Once you get them in with the thumbnail, that's half the battle, or even a quarter of the battle. Then you gotta convince them to look at your trailer, and I, I just hate to say this, is that the second somebody sees like when you get to the, where is it, like it's good for like the first ten seconds when you get to like the, twelve second mark when you start seeing yeah, it just nothing is popping, and then at the nineteen second mark when you watch combat and there's no interaction going on. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to, I think, mean, convince somebody. We always say this. Like, when we look at games that are either based off of another, off of a popular genre, or they look like a very popular game, the challenge is what does your game do differently? And it's not just doing it differently, but you have to have something that pops for people. And I just don't see that in this version of the game, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think that if if he took this trailer and edited out all the gameplay, then he'd have all the best parts of the trailer. Mm. But which is because the the gameplay is lacking on animations and whatnot. And once if he can edit, you know get new good animations in his game and then edit you know those in place of the old ones, he might have a pretty solid trailer. Mm -hmm. but you know as is i mean i don't see any way to really improve that trailer without improving the game through animations and whatnot yeah and one of the reviews does mention that he hopes the art style will be improved yeah plus the 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 other thing is is when it comes to the characters they feel very generic mm-hmm 
And I, I noticed when you were playing, it you, you had the this turn order up here at the top at the screenshot eight, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, it, it it takes really looking to figure out that all these generic guys A through Z <laughs> are not all the same as that guy just facing in different directions with different backgrounds. <laughs> Yeah, you really have to look to to tell that Who's they saying? aren't the same as that character, you know, with just a different background and facing a different direction. I mean, yeah, and the text was very small too. I think you may have noticed that while I was playing that, it was a little hard to read some of the stuff. Yeah. All right, but I think I think just to wrap up this section, ultimately, I think what's going to what need the biggest fix or the biggest suggestion is an animation pass. Because if you can make things look very visceral, if you can give it that unique style, you can then use that for GIFs, you can use that for the trailer, and I think that will make this game pop a lot more to people. I think it needs not just animations, but art too. Mm -hmm. Art and animations. Yeah. Specifically with the characters. Mm -hmm. Because, like, the background art, for the most part, works. Mm -hmm. I think it's just your character art just feels really generic, and the these the stilted versions of them, you know, mm -hmm. just does not work kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, they should be... I mean, you can put breathing animations when they come in. You can, you know, have them do some kind of cool animation to where they're like, you know, you know. Actually swing a sword or shoot an arrow. Yeah, shoot an arrow up into the sky, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like the part where or, you have like the. Hold their bow up in the air or something. Like the part where the poison gets thrown in the trailer. I think it was that was like probably the most animation I think I saw <laughs> during the trailer. All right, but I think I am ready to move on. What about you? Yep, let's go to the next one.